looking live at Memorial Stadium in Champaign, Illinois, where we begin the second century of intercollegiate football with the Fighting Illini. Today's matchup brings together Illinois and Colorado. They have met only once, and that was a year ago when the Buffaloes stormed all over them 38 to 7. Tom Quinn will send the signal in for the end zone, and he does, and we are underway. This is Pritchard. It goes over his head and out of the end zone. That is some of the fastest in the nation. We have already mentioned the enemy. He'll start at tailback for the Buffaloes out of this option offense. George Hemingway is back there. Michael Simmons, Mike Pritchard, a wide receiver, returning starters marked with an asterisk. Remember, there's number 62. Folks, he's one of the best offensive linemen in college football today. Hey, again. Now the pitch, the enemy. Brought down to the 24 by Marlon Prima. On this group, led by noseman Mo Gardner. Walker and Streeter also up front. The linebackers, A.G. Bryce, Hinkle, and Brownlow in that secondary. And a veteran group behind them of Hamner and Jones are at the corners. Primus and Parker are your two safeties. They run the eye isolation play, giving the ball to the tailback deep, and they just go ahead and run that quarterback sweep type play. Hagan oh. headed, can't get away from Brownlow, number 48. Hagan under pressure gets it off incomplete. Good defensive pressure. Boons is the deep man. He's one of the best in the nation. Lousy but this punch. one is not one of his good ones. He could be bothered by that groin oh. pull. And Jones is down at the 45-yard line. Could be the shocker. We'll keep you up to date. Here at Scoreless, Illinois with Jason Verdusco, their five foot nine inch quarterback, with first and ten against Colorado. And they use a base play with Howard Griffith, 29. He's very strong, a former state high school wrestling champion out of California. Second and long. Lester stepped back battled his way across midfield. There's a look at the skill players. Sean Wax, number 88, will be a key man before this is over. On the line, Dick Vermeil, who's the ringleader there? I really think it's Simpson. He Two tight ends in right now. And Produsco to roll to the right and throw for the first down. Elbert Turner for Colorado. And this is a veteran bunch. Joel Steed, 93, one of the better nosemen in the country. He's a man. No one on the outside any better than Williams and McGee, 94 and 96. In that secondary, McLuhan and Figures are the corners. James and Thomas are the safeties. Now it's first and ten. Lester and Griffith are still the running backs behind Produsco. Off a of play fake. And that was John Wright. And instead, they hand it off. And there's a big hole on the inside for Wagner. Griffith for the first down. Here is Griffith. And he made the most out of that. There is their slot that Dick told you about. It's Turner to the left. But instead Great they will run short of the first down, however. That was Boyer, his first carry. Camino Bell is in the backfield. He's a slick blocker. And now they'll go for the shotgun on third and two. A basic pro look. Verdusco throws for Wax incomplete. And now it is fourth and two. Made two for two last week from this distance. Three for three. The Illini strike first. They lead Colorado by a field goal. Wells kicks it off for the second time. He takes Pritchard deep in the end zone. He'll kneel down there for the touchback. Basic eye look, and they'll frequently shift out of it. That's a new look right there. of running room on the Illini. Gets across midfield before he is out of bounds. Um, the late Buddy Young was a great friend, fabulous player. Hagan to throw it, takes it back, and it is blocked by Mo Gardner, who is all over the field. The enemy, and he is 
cut off. Now they stretch him out, and he makes all he can. And fool the defense so dramatically as that play. Brilliant. Third and long now for Hagan and the Buffaloes. Straight back. Drops off a screen to the enemy. The enemy with an alley has the first down. There's that eye bone look. Hagan on that option, keeping it and coming down the sideline. One of the first and ten. They go straight ahead with Hemingway. And as you see, 50 out of 57 times they scored. This year, they're almost as good at six times down there, three touchdowns, one field goal. The enemy cut off short of the 15-yard line. It is third and five for the Buffalo. Unbalanced line left. Hagan keeps it. Penalty marker is down. And he didn't make it. Very costly. They're normally a third and three conversion team. Hagan. Complete to Hemingway. Inside the five. First and goal for the Buffaloes. Their team inside the five against Stanford the other night. Well, you know, Hagan hasn't scored a touchdown yet this year. This, he's in the air to do it. They hand it off. It's in there. Touchdown. Across the goal line. Penalty flags down before the before the kick. Still has it. Hasn't. But another flag. All right, the extra point is good. Three lead by Colorado, and we're coming right back. They could do it by making that position a more secure position. Boyer and Fagan were back there, and it is Boyer bringing it out. On first down, complete. And forced out of bounds with Steven Mueller. Brings his team to the line. the middle and not much daylight there with Chad Brown before he came back to the college game. Second and nine. Verdusco to put it up and it is complete to Griffith but short of the first down. Fagan will not get the first down and Illinois will punt as Knavis McGee. Not out of time. Thank you. There is the punt by Jimmy Harness left-footed freshman punter and it is beautiful to McLuhan and McLuhan is down at the 20-yard line Hagan handing it off again and this time it was number 42 Michael Simmons the ball 7-3 this is how you like to keep the bone attack in a second and real long the enemy 26 yard line Colorado with a third and four Hagan on the roll throws incomplete for Pritchard because of the problems with a groin muscle and he's one of the better punters in college football led the country last year in net Jones signaling for the fair catch Illinois will have the ball here it's first and ten Marusco Straight down the middle and intercepted. Picked off by James, and he is out of bounds at the Illinois 45. It's the one thing you cannot do against this kind of attack is turn the ball over. Hagan keeping it now. He pitches to the enemy, and he can give it so late. Second down and five. Here comes that change-up formation. With Hemingway coming in motion, the enemy short of the first down. And Football, Hagan, that oh. is short. Great defense. Coming up with the play is Mike Hopkins. <laughs> <laughs> we come to the end <laughs> of the first quarter here at Champaign. Colorado 7, Illinois 3. We'll be back with the Buffaloes fourth down. So now we'll attempt a field goal of 55 yards. 
Jim Harper, and they said he was lethal in practice last week. He hit three from in a row from 57 yards. That's long enough. A 54-yarder by Harper. Well, they can't blame that on the altitude in Colorado. <laughs> this was prairie level. And the Buffaloes lead it 10 to 3. We'll be right back. It was falling off the tee That's when he it. caught it. That's why it is short. And it is field by Lynch. Lynch looking for daylight. Has an alley. Breaks free. And he is out to the 39-yard line. On the inside hand. Everybody first down play. They run the toss with Griffin, the lone setback, and he is strung out with Beaker, number 19. And we welcome everybody to ABC from Louisville. On third and 10, Verdusco steps away from the pressure, but he is far short of the first down. They got one block last week. They got this one off. McLuhan steps up. He's got breakaway speed. Cuts back inside, and he is down inside the 35-yard line. A spectacular run by McLuhan. Having a guy that used to go to the same school as you on your pro team. Well, uh, he's been super. You know, he's, uh, he's been helping me out whenever I need help. Uh oh, he's trouble! Been on the back and the Touchdown! Long, so he's been great. Simmons catches the touchdown pass thrown by Hagen on first down, 32 yards. And the extra point is good. And suddenly, Colorado has seized control. Now they will use someone to hold it this time. The last time out, it blew off the tee. Lynch right at the goal line. 10 to the 20. Down at the 28-yard line. Well, they will have to claw their way back in right now. Trailing at 17-3. With a young quarterback in his second game. Oh, oh. Down at midfield. What a hit by Greg Thomas. And did he get up? Now without a running back. They're rolling out toward that seat. It gives him a lot of time to get rid of it. Throws back in completely. He saw the people coming. To into the arms of Chad Brown, number 34. Champaign, Illinois, the University of Illinois, with the ball, trailing it by two touchdowns. But they have a second and long inside the Buffalo's 35. Verdusco stepping and away from the pressure. He has a first down Good to job. the 16-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Illini on a 16-yard run. Dusko complete and out of bounds. Wax the receiver. Now they shift again. Lester battling his way toward the first five and a first down, but there is a penalty marker down. For Dusko on the quick count and Renfro. This is third and 12. are covered so he takes off and he is down at the 16-yard line Higgins with a 33-yard attempt and it is no good the score stays at 17-3 him attempting to come back against Washington State trailing at 29-14 here Colorado with the lead and Gary and Hagan their Heisman Trophy candidate is caught by Derek Brownlow and brought to the ground. And he's ahead 17 to 3 as Hemingway steps in motion. And on the option, it's Hagen trying to turn it up as penalty flags come flying. And Six. 
second and 20. Hagan, no stepping around the corner. Oh, that's Bluffing works. the pitch. And he is brought down by Gardner. Look at this. They're not afraid to throw in this situation anymore. New philosophy. Well, they won't throw this time. It's the enemy, and he's got fresh legs. And he bolts out for the first down. He's carried eight times for 69 yards here already. Here he is again. Yeah, that's all they use with me, too. Second and long. East backfield. The oh. enemy into the heart of the defense. Great Derek job by Brownlow. The enemy with time incomplete. Quentin Parker State, but couldn't earn a scholarship before he transferred down the road from Fort Collins to Boulder, and now he seems to be getting looser and looser. Danger. We got a call for a fair catch right Should have there. at that time. Whoa. Illinois with the ball, and young Jason Verdusco back at the helm. Only 5'9", drops right straight back, drops it off over to Fagan for the first down. A 15-yard gain on the play. this to go long and then come back for the first down. Now he'll give it to Griffith and take his first down when he can. First and 10 here for Illinois. Down 17 to 3 to Colorado. 5-10 to go in the first half. Jason Verdusco off the Throw play away. action and steady hits a back. And Start. that was Camino Bell. Second and long. That one interception resulted in a uh, broken play. Good defense Broken by ball. Eric Hamilton, number six. Still has the bullet lodged in his rib right now and is playing football. This happening just over the summer. Wilder what? Yeah, there really is some story complete on the deflection. The ball was deflected. Here it's first and ten at the Colorado 31. Running the draw play that time with number 44, Fagan. and Hamilton coming up in that secondary again. Out of the shotgun this time. Oh, no. Bobbles it, catches it, moving to the right, oh. and it is deflected from the side. And Alfred Williams, this is fourth and 15 for the Illini. He'd only gain a few yards by 15, 16 yards by punting it. I think he's going to sprint out. Yes, he does. See, they pin him out there. Complete first down. Look at Verdusco. He is excited. Griffith, daylight, 15, 10, 5, down to the three-yard line with figures tackling him. First and goal. was stopped. Bell and Griffith are the running backs on second and goal. There was movement. If you remember early... This is Colorado 8, obviously, going in. They're coming after Dusko. Quick throw, touchdown, That's Illinois! And he took a lick. Elbert Turner. at their house. I <laughs> love those spices. All night. All night. Well, you don't do too bad with a fork <laughs> yourself. <laughs> here is Pritchard. And time is going to run out here. There's a penalty flag down. This one has improved in this ball game itself. He's really... You would figure that McCartney would take a seven-point lead here and go on into the locker room. He's going to do just that. Unless the enemy has different ideas. He steps out to the 19-yard line. 17-10, a good one here at Champaign. 
We know you'll be back for the second half. And meanwhile, Roger Quibo will get you up to date with everything. Let's send you there now, Roger. They have a tie and a last-second victory over Stanford. Oh, good to kick. credit. Lynch from the two. Fine return out to the 32-yard line. Bumbled. The ball comes free. Griffith, the running back, behind Verdusco. He's been the workhorse. He takes the pitch, cuts back against the defensive pursuit, as he does there. Draw play. There's a penalty marker down. And it'll go against Illinois. Second and long. Work, work. With time over the middle, and it's complete by Verdusco, but this will also lead them in third and long. And they've got to make seven yards this time to accomplish it. it off to Griffith. Great defense by Beaker. See? Lousy punt. This is the second game in a row that we've had an uh, opportunity to broadcast the game where they've had punting problems. Leading Illinois by seven with his touchdown pass. First and ten. Running the option down the line. Pitching to Biennemi. Ooh. And Biennemi got all of six before Brownlow. Tough luck. Yeah, it really is. Thank you, Mark. And Mike Hopkins, the junior, is into that spot. And the heart of the third down with Brigham Young storming back now to lead it 43-36. Wild and Willie and Provo, as usual. Oh, nice slide. And oh. hit hard. Oh, oh that's going to bring down rain. Get away from it. Takes a Colorado bounce down inside the five-yard line. It's down to Great the job. three. Now the quarterback of the Colts. So the young man from California under the heat inside the five. Fagan busts the tackle but gets no further than the five-yard line. And second and long. Griffith back. Great pass. First Great down. Hit wax on the slant. We'll see those Cougars out against Oregon in a few weeks. Musgrave and Depper, they'll throw for a thousand yards that day, folks. Fagan. Well, they set a record, but that's a little premature. The Irish are very determined to hold on to that. Produsco gets it off and throws it out of bounds, going down. Got it off. Third down. And then. From the shotgun. Closing from the side, he never saw Alfred Williams coming. Inside the Illinois 40. Pretty good punt. Driven back to the 47-yard line. And he is down at the 40-yard line. So with by two opposing players in the game back in 89. Here is the enemy again. Watch football. Referee didn't give him the signal over there. Hagen running the option to the short side, keeps the ball, and steps to the 24-yard line. And this now is first down. Hemingway to the 20, and a penalty marker. Best offensive lineman. Ooh, yeah. Here's the enemy. Looking for daylight, and he gets out to the 27-yard line. Hagen cuts back short of the first down. How big was that, Nick? He goes up for a rebound, folks. You get out of the way. Third and eight. Big play. The enemy fumbles it. Field goal situation for Colorado. I think he tripped. 30, 45-yard field goal. So here's Harper. Block! Block! Illinois ball. Verdusco running Griffith. He's got a run. 
He's free. 35. And inside the 20-yard line. Enjoying a splendid afternoon here against the Buffalo defense. Off a fake for Dusko rolling. Complete. And inside the 10-yard line to Jeff Finke. Which he does. They run right straight ahead with Boyer inside the five-yard line. Second and goal. Luster didn't get it. It's third and goal for Illinois. Crossing pattern. There it is. Verdusco throws. Wax has it. Touchdown, Illinois. Great reception. Composure. We are tied at 17. Two minutes and 28 seconds to go in the third quarter. Champaign, Illinois. The Illini trailing by two touchdowns late in the first half have now put two scores on the board, and we're deadlocked. Oh. Many times it's a mistake to try to cut a guy that low. They'll jump over him. And it's fielded by Pritchard. Great uh -oh. speed to the 30-yard line, where it will be first and 10 now. Hagan and the Buffaloes. We're tied at 17. Unbalanced line. Hagan will throw on first down. He goes for it all. Pritchard's open, but he overthrew him. Incomplete. Second and ten with the offense huddling on the Illinois sideline. Hagan runs the option. The enemy's outside of him. Hagan keeps it to the 34-yard line, and Henry Jones has yeah, a two-on-one advantage if he can. Third and long with Pritchard in motion behind him. And Hagan to put it up now. Straight back. Going to shoot. Pritchard incomplete. Again. Ooh. Great punt, this one. That's an NFL punt. What a magnificent punt. punt. Inside the 10, it hit toward the end zone, down on the one what foot line. Unbelievable. What a great punt that was. Lester. He didn't punch it out far. He spreads the defense out. They're coming with the outside back. Oh! Griffith gets to the goal line. Safety is signal. A Colorado safety as Beaker gets in and the crowd does not like it. The Colorado's going to get, they figure to get, decent field position out of this. They can fair catch this now. Remember, it has to be a yeah, fair catch. At the 48-yard line, Hagan barking out the change of the line. The enemy into the arms of the defense. We're going to return with more college football between Colorado and Illinois after this message and a word from our ABC station. Now we start the final 15 minutes. Colorado with the ball at midfield. Second down and seven. Here is the enemy. Cutting back has a seam and he is to the 33 yard line. They side and is finally knocked out of bounds at the 25. The enemy. Very close to a first down. First and ten. They'll use the enemy again. He crosses the 20 yard line. See the, the field is to Hagen right. He has more room if he heads in that direction. They'll come to the boundary instead with the enemy. And again he turns it up and steps out at the 11th. First and 10. Break to Hemingway. It's Hagen going to the wide side. Turns it up. Down at the seven yard line. Jones. They can get a first down without scoring. to the short side, pitches it out of bounds, late to the enemy. See, the option really puts pressure on you now. 
Hagan to throw it. Under pressure, incomplete. He got it launched. And the 26-yarder is good. Jimmy Harper nails down another field goal. It'll be 22-17 when you come back. 12.44 to go. And they will. Fagan at the 10. 15. 20. Looking for daylight to the 26-yard line. Field goal. And that's where we stand now at 22-17. to 17. And on first down, not much there. That 12 minutes to go. Second down and long for Verdusco. Complete to Lester coming out of the backfield. Out to the 45-yard line. Wagner Lester. First and 10 now that falls out to the 45-yard line. Can't believe he did that. Verdusco on the fake. Sends it back on the screen to Griffith. Griffith breaks a tackle and gets back to the original line of screen. Oh. Oh, no back attack. Usually they roll out with this. Sure, nobody to give it to. 94, big Alfred Williams would not let him out of his grasp. Third down and 15. They've been good in that situation so far today. This time, Verdusco stepping away from the pressure. He'll keep it on the run, and he'll be short of the first down. He's at the 49. McLuhan waits Wells' punt. Nice punt. Nice punt. That's where he had to get it. It's on the 11. McLuhan picks it up on a bounce, and he's out of bounds there at the 10-yard line. The enemy, and he's hit right away by Gardner. Second down and long for Hagan and the Buffaloes. Hagan's going to put it up. A wobbler incomplete. And that'll bring up third and long. This is third and 13. No play bigger in the game. Hagan with the option, and Colorado is forced to punt. Into the wind. Good stiff wind blowing right now. Jones Good is back, Beautiful. and he booms one inside the 40-yard line. Down wow. at the 42. What a magnificent job of punting by Bob Lewin. 7.54 to go here in the ball game. Griffin and Fagan are the setbacks. Split behind for Dusko. On first down, they elect to throw it again. Receiver's covered, and he is buried back near the 30-yard line. They run the draw play with Fagan, nothing going. And Larry Howe now. now it is third down and 18. With the defense playing so well, they've got to be make sure they don't turn the ball over. Don't take any chances. Go ahead and punt play defense again. There's a mistake. Steps up and hits his own man, and then Joel Steed brought him to the carpet. Wells booming one. McLuhan catches it at the 23. He took a couple of steps backward, and now he is down at the 28-yard line. Quarterback keeping it, and he is down after a gaining a lot of yard. They'll keep it on the ground with the enemy. Short of the first down. I think they're coming after him. Get back. He gave him the first down. Oh, no. The pass is high. No penalty marker thrown. He was offside. Take a look at Streeter up on top. Hey, he's in the neutral zone. That's offside. The flag should be thrown. The obvious is going to be flying up. Now, ruin again. Beautiful high hanger. Jones at the 30. Gets by one tackle. Paddles his way to the 37. Now. Unbalanced formation. Good block. Complete to the tight end. Jeff Finke. And he is tackled. Hit. And did Griffith 
get the first down. Tied running. They do. It's Griffin. He's got the first down. Crosses midfield, and he's out of bounds at the 45. They'll toss to Griffith again, and that time he can't get away from Beaker. Makovic was with him at Miami of Ohio. McCartney was with him, of course, at Ann Arbor. Now on second and ten. Time. And he hits the tight end, Pinky. Same formation. Two tight ends, two wide outs. And they'll throw out of it. Verdusco, and it's deflected to Griffin, who catches it out of ricochet. And he's out of bounds at the 25. Alfred Williams knocked it back, but Griffith was right there. Second and short. Griffith and there was one. Not this afternoon. Second and seven after the five-yard penalty. They're coming after Verdusco. This is receiver for a first down at the 20-yard line. Jason Verdusco. First and ten. Verdusco back. Has time and hits Lester coming out of the backfield inside the ten. Strong formation set left. He could become a spring out. Yeah, he is. Lester Bobble gets the handle, gets the corner. Good and in. And his ankle is injured. To go, it's first and goal down here. They like to put the wing back in motion in the goal line. That's Bell, who is set in front of the tailback right now. Griffith, and it'll be Griffith diving across for the touchdown. with the two points. Let's see it where is. they put Wax. He split way wide here down to the right-hand side of the screen. They're loading up. Turner's inside him, Dick. This is the pick type thing. Throw to Turner incomplete, so it'll stay at 23-22. Colorado with a minute 18. A field goal would win it for the Buffalo. This young man can do it for him. They'll kick it away from the enemy on the ground. Now, that's a questionable call, Dick, with a field goal kicker. They trail it by a point, 23 to 22. The enemy is behind him. Hagan to put it up on first down. He's got time, and down he goes as his receivers are covered in screener tackles him. Against Illinois, but they'll offset. Here is first. Clock ticking down inside of a minute. Hagan's under pressure, and he gets it into the hands of the enemy. The enemy picks up a block, and he is out of bounds, stopping the clock at the 45 up to the 26-yard line. Over the middle and complete for the first down. And that was Bowman, the big tight end. They can do it. They've done it before. First and 10 for Hagan and the Buffaloes. Plenty of time. Over the middle, he's open, incomplete, and there's a penalty marker down. Holding. He they can find Pritchard, Dick. Hagan is back. Now he turns around and he is hit and brought down. Beautiful. I don't believe they've got to get the ball to the 30-yard line. That's a 47-yard field goal. Hagan under pressure steps away and won't get it off. And they will have to use that timeout. Final has used its last timeout. It comes down to third and 28. Hagan straight back. Goes over the middle. In intercepted up by Illinois, and that'll do it. As Quentin Parker, knowing his rule, down. He throws a line drive shot right down the hole. I don't think it hit the ground. It went off that guy's stomach. It was close. It has come down to this for Colorado to stay unbeaten. Hagan scrambling all over. Hagan still on his feet. Penalty marker is thrown. Yeah, there was a clipping back there. That'll do it. Illinois has upset Colorado.
Jason Verdusco. He does it. Illinois upsets Colorado 23 to 22.